Alistair Green for suggesting that I shared my work with the Caterham Lockdown Festival too. Hope you're all well and staying safe. Um, here we are in my back room uh, where I do my watercolours. Uh, in a second we're going to go down to the shed uh, where I do my oil work. Uh, but first of all I'd like to thank my young helper uh, Jack for being chief videographer. Um, so I've been an artist for about four, four and a half years. I'm self-taught. Started off with a little squiggle uh, and a few lines on the train uh, and then uh, ended up uh, just recently showing with the Royal Society of Painters in Watercolours. So I'm very proud about that. Um, I work across many mediums, um, so, uh, a landscape, portrait, abstract, oil work, watercolour, acrylics, spray paint. And I'm currently showing in uh, several galleries uh, across the country and Paris. Um, so let's take you through some watercolours. Let's go over to this young young lady here. Now, um, titles are very important to me. Um, this one's called Her Retirement Plan. I try to get some sort of social commentary in the work that I do um, and also comedy. Comedy is important, I think, because the, if you have comedy, you can explore the darker side uh, better, I find. Uh, if you move across here, Jack, thank you very much. Uh, this one I've retitled. I've retitled her 2021 because I'm thinking she's pretty much a product of this year. Um, and if we, I mean, really how I start is with a sketch. Um, and then with the watercolour, I build up the face and then it kind of appears. And then once the face appears, um, I work around it. Um, I probably use two or three photographs of generic faces, uh, but then to come up with my own. And sometimes I use family members, uh, but she isn't a family member. <laughs> um, okay, if we move over to the landscape, something I'm playing around with at the moment is uh, layers of watercolour, uh, sort of washes and uh, basically stripping back um, as we go along to find uh, depth. Um, and this is obviously quite abstract, um, but I'm really enjoying this one at the moment. And this one's of um, Dinas Mor Morthwi, I hope I pronounced that uh, correctly, uh, in Wales, which was um, an old family sort of um, stopping point uh, for our Welsh holidays. Since we're at the table here, actually, I do have some oil work um, drying on the, t on, the, on the table, on the wall, in fact. Um, this one, again, is of Barmouth Bridge. Um, and as you can see, I've allowed the paint to spill onto the frame. Um, I think it foregrounds the painting quite well. Uh, so there's a mixture of realism and abstract. Um, uh, I find it it's quite, quite interesting. Um, same with this one uh, down here. Thanks, Jack. Now, since we're here, I've also got some prints of work that I do with my collaborative partner, Anna Allworthy. Um, we're selling these prints and originals in a couple of galleries, one in Dublin, one in Canterbury. This one is called Once Upon a Pink Time. Titles are very important to me because like the painting, they hopefully lead into a story or suggest a story. Um, and the viewer is then free to, I don't know, sort of drift off with it in any direction they, they wish. But the titles are important. Um, and before we go to the shed, I have some larger water colour works to show you. So again, uh, this one uh, was showing at the Sunday Times uh, watercolour competition uh, where I sold a small, smaller version um, of one of the figurative works. And as you can see, I've got popular characters um, from uh, Hanna-Barbera uh, in on her graffiti. And I'm hoping that this sort of suggests uh, a story. Um, and it's a, a kind of a wry uh, exploration of old age and, you know, um, the many battles that uh, we'll have, <laughs> or at least they have. Um, and if we turn around, this is the Canterbury scene. Um, it's called the Stour, well, th this is the Stour, but it's called Song for the Stour. Um, quite, quite a traditional uh, approach, but then, as you can see, it's fragmented around the edges. I quite like doing that with watercolour. 
these are uh, strips of tape that I leave on and take off uh, at the end. And again, I think it's, it serves to foreground the, um, the central uh, image. Okay, let's go to the shed, Jack. Now it's uh, it's raining, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to run. I think um, I don't have my sou'wester. Are you ready, Jack? <laughs> Yeah. Here we are <laughs> in uh, my shed. Um, I'm out of breath now. Oh, this is just Casper breath a minute. I'm 46 now. I'm getting a bigger studio, so I'll be able to spread out. But for now, I'm kind of tucked up in uh, in this shed of mine, which I love. Um, so oil work. There are several different ways I approach uh, oil work. If we take these, for example, this is these are abstracts on paper. So these are pretty much free form. I quite enjoy doing this. They're uh, Welsh uh, scenes. Um, uh, Llan Trosfynid, I think that is, yes, and that one there. And that's Dinnis again. Um, so pretty much, it, you know, slapping the paint on, seeing what happens with it. And I work, I'm, work, I'm working from um, uh, photography uh, with these. If you move down to this piece here. How's it going, Jack? Yeah, looking good. Uh, your work, I mean. Um, so, again, another way I like to work is to build up layers. So this is a combination of three or four stages of painting. Uh, and as you can see, you can see the old stages coming through there. Uh, and the texture is, um, well, it's heavy texture along here. Uh, and then we have a smooth section and, and a more abstract graffiti section up here. Um, so it gives the impression of the landscape. And if we move over to that one, I'm using a bit of spray paint here on top. But again, this is uh, an accumulation of several layers of, of work. Whereas if we move down here, this one's called, and so there was this field. Uh, this one is smoother. Uh, there aren't any layers. Uh, it's done in one session. And again, um, I'm using these abstract foreground shapes because again, um, it, it seems to foreground the, the realism or the realistic image. Um, uh, figurative work. Um, we have my old friend Nick there, tucked in the corner. He can't visit anymore because of COVID, but his painting's here. Uh, up here, um, we have uh, uh, another example of layering, but this is a mixture of oil paint and oil pastel. And I'm using a, a rag to wipe it to find the face and using the edge of a knife to scratch around um, the edges. And again, I think that gives it a, a foreground feeling. Um, this one is called it's put 10 years on me. And if we, if I take the camera actually, Jack, you can have a rest, thank you very much indeed. Um, this one over here is, it's taken 10 years off me. And it's almost a self portrait, but it has a kind of photographic feeling to it, I think, sort of around here anyway. And that's a result of layering and rubbing back. Whereas this little fella down here is again, one session, but a different sort of style. I'm using a, a palette knife uh, and a brush, um, and this one's called I'm in Two Minds. Uh, we have an example of um, just using oil pastel and charcoal for this um, abstract. Oh, a couple of watercolour fellas there have popped in. Look at that. And if we move over here, like an example of my um, abstract work, quite enjoy these. Um, bit of fun, something different from uh, me anyway. Uh, and these are quite recent. Um, and then if you move over here, save the last suite for me. 
Again, this one's done with a palette knife, but I start off with a wash, a greenish wash, and then using pencil, charcoal, and paint, um, building up the face until I'm happy. Um, and then across here, uh, these are quite fun, I quite like these, uh, graffiti figures. Uh, and again, that's on a gesso panel. You can see the thickness there. Uh, with ink, oil, and a pen. And if we move back over here, thank you, Jack. I'm currently working on some black and white work, uh, oil work. And this piece here is again Barmouth. Um, and I'm just using the paintbrush very lightly to build up the clouds and a bit of spray paint on the left and a big sort of wash of um, oil using a palette knife to the bottom right. Here we have an example of um, my abstract figurative work. Um, the, the toy soldier whistles. And down here we have a Welsh scene. <sighs> Clan Festiniog. I went there during the uh, well between the lockdowns and uh, took some photographs of this wonderful um, old mining uh, town. Uh, it was raining. Um, but the light was fantastic and there's, there's just something about it that I wanted to paint. Um, uh, working on a, oh, there you go, a quick sketch at the moment that'll be built into um, the, an oil uh, landscape. Moving up to some more portraits there. Um, uh, I've shown some of these as uh, the RBSA, um, the Royal Birmingham Society of Artists. Um, and also I have some, I have a landscape currently in the uh, Wales Contemporary um, Exhibition. Uh, this is um, a Swiss scene, a commission for a friend of mine who's a keen uh, climber. Uh, I should mention I am open to submissions. Um, and this one over here is a place called the Rekin uh, in the Midlands, uh, which where I grew up um, and a friend of mine took this photograph and I painted segments of it and put that together and again I'm using as you can see the abstract elements at the bottom left there and then I have I don't know if you can see this let's move in a little bit there we go the portrait there to the right uh, now did I leave the kettle on again I just, I just love playing around with titles <laughs> And we have another small scene here, uh, South Norfolk. I'm going to hand the camera back to Jack now. Thanks, matey. So um, that's a little insight into uh, my life and <laughs> the work in the shed. Um, I've currently got work in Lilford Gallery, the Doorway Gallery, uh, having work going into the Gallery Holt and I've had work in Highgate Gallery and also uh, Parisian uh, galleries as well. But the best thing to do is to go to my website, adamdeville.com, and you'll find links to those um, galleries there. And also you can browse through many, many more paintings. Um, so last thing I'd like to mention our, uh, our um, collaborative work. We're currently working on a large piece. I should mention that Prices on paintings can range from 300 to 3,500 at the moment. Um, and these are a couple of more examples of our collaborative work. Um, these are, these are the, obviously the prints. Uh, we work on much, much bigger scale. Um, this is the Thomas Street Tango. Uh, the 15th adventure of Mr. Ben, because he only made 14 until this one. Uh, and this one we've recently sold um, at Lilford Gallery to London scene. Um, uh, join me round the wishing tree. And that's Anna Allworthy. And again, details of our uh, work can be found on the website. So, thank you very much indeed. I uh, hope you are all uh, keeping well and. Um, if you want to get in touch, uh, there's my email address on the website. But thank you very much indeed. Uh, and uh, that's it. Thanks. Cheers.